How many of you know why we're here today? Any ideas? Your teacher just say head to the auditorium. Okay, we've got one idea. Uh, we are at that point in the year where it is time to look at scheduling for your sophomore year. Oh, you got another Just starting to catch me up down here. Yeah. Oh. Okay. You guys come on down here. Just leave a space before you. So I want you to make sure that you've got all your distractions put away. You've got your phone out, your clubs, any earphones, anything like that. Make sure that all of that is turned off and put away. We've got a lot of information in a very short amount of time. But you will receive this presentation and some other things in your email later today. So if we go by something too quick for you, um, do know that that's coming. All right. So I'm Mrs. Ebbing, one of the assistant principals. And I work a lot with scheduling. So like I just said, we've got a lot of really important things to share with you today. We're going to jump right in. Um, we're going to start with some opportunities that we have here at the high school. We know that you guys last year, during your 8th grade year, you didn't get to do the tours and some of the things that we would normally do. So we want to start off with some of that information just to review. Um, and then we're going to jump back. Good thing we didn't get too far in. Okay. And then we are going to look at what your 10th grade scheduling um, process looks like and go through some of that with you. So the first thing we want to look at is uh, our academic opportunities that we have here at the high school. So obviously that's all of the subject areas, the classes that we offer, some of the programs. The best resource that you have to look at this information is the curriculum guide. So this was sent out before break. You're also going to get it again today. But this is our curriculum guide that's on our website. This is an interactive guide that you can click on any of the areas that you're interested in. So we've got lots of general information. And then say you want to look for a class in the science department. So you really enjoyed your science class this year. So there are some uh, videos for teachers that explain some of the opportunities that they have that you can click through and watch the videos. You can read any course descriptions. You can look at the flow charts. Um, all kinds of great information here. Um, you can always go back with the home button to look at any other departments. So this is on our high school website. And again, you will have the link emailed to you. This is the best source of information as you start to look at schedule. Okay. So some other opportunities as well. I want you to make sure you understand that we have lots of opportunities in advanced placement and dual credit opportunities here in the building. So when I say dual credit, what am I talking about? Does anybody know what that means? Yeah. You get college credit too. Exactly. You get college credit along with your high school credit. So that's really important because it's going to save you a lot of time and money. So if you are able to take advantage of some of those opportunities and it fits in with what your goals are after high school, you plan to go to college, um, you really want to look at that. There's also some opportunities for maybe some two year colleges and those types of things if you're not quite sure what you want to do. Um, we also have the opportunity here at Jennings County High School that you can earn your first year of college before you graduate. We've got a checklist for that. Uh, that's also linked in the presentation, so that's something you can come back and look at. But that could potentially save you about $30,000 if you knock a year off of college. Okay, so just know that that's an option and you can always talk to your guidance counselors about that. Some other opportunities, uh, academically, we have Project Lead the Way courses, which are very hands-on project-based courses um, in biomedical sciences, computer science, and engineering. So if any of that appeals to you, make sure you look at those in the curriculum guide. 
Also, um, if you've been at activities or just things around the building, you see that we have some great programs in band, choir, orchestra, and visual arts. So those are some things that we always like to showcase. Um, another big piece, and we'll talk about this in a little bit too, is we've really been trying to put more of an emphasis on career technical education pathways. And that's a mouthful, but we have lots of opportunity in this building to prepare you for what you want to do when you graduate. Okay, so we have pathways that are three or four courses in sequence that might prepare you for a career in teaching or engineering or industrial maintenance. We've got a, a whole list of things, culinary arts. Um, and you might be thinking, well, I have no idea what I'm interested in. Here in the next couple of days, you will receive an interest inventory. And take a little five minute quiz that will tell you some of these areas you may be interested in that can help you choose some of these courses. Um, that will come through your email for SRT as well, so that can help you choose your classes. I'm going to turn it over to Mrs. Kent to review a couple of our other opportunities. Okay, so academics are great, right? That's why we're here at school, but in order to have the best experience that you can possibly have, we always tell kids to get involved in something outside of just coming to school here. So up here on the screen is a list of all of our opportunities, our clubs and our groups that meet um, after school time. Um, sometimes they meet during you know, SRT or whatever, but this is on our list. Um, some of you might already be a part of some of these clubs and groups, but if you're not and you're interested, please reach out to one of us and we can put you in touch with the sponsor or the advisor that's in charge of that group. Um, you should be receiving a calendar um, from Mrs. Davis every month with an updated list of when the clubs meet, what days and what times. So you can always you know, show up to those clubs if you're interested in being involved and talk to the sponsor then. Um, but if you need any more information, you can definitely reach out to one of us about that. Um, also, um, our different athletic groups, you can stop in the athletic office and talk to Mr. Stevens, our athletic director, um, to get a physical form and a paper code if you're interested in participating in some of our sports teams. Um, obviously, some of these, you know, they start, they have seasons and they start at different times. It's not, you can just jump right into something right now, but if you're interested, um, maybe for a spring sport or for the next year, you need to stop into athletics. And then these are just pictures of our new um, updated facilities. Obviously, our football field, baseball, softball, got turf, um, new wrestling facility there, tennis courts got redone as well. And then these are just pictures of different events, homecomings. You guys got a little taste of homecoming this year, but um, homecomings years past pre-COVID were really, really, really big, fun uh, weeks. And obviously, because of COVID, we had to minimize it a little bit, but you guys did get a little bit with the pet session on Friday and, and some of those things. Again, just more pictures of different events that are going on around the East High School. Okay, so that's going to transition us into graduation pathways. Have any of you seen this sheet? One. Okay, two. Okay, you've seen it probably briefly, but we want to really bring it back to your attention because this is incredibly important um, as you work towards graduating from Jennings County High School. These are the requirements for you to make sure that you earn your diploma from the state of Indiana. And you have three boxes that you have to check off. That's how we're always going to refer to graduation pathways. You have to check off box one, box two, and box three. So we wanted to bring that to you today because as you choose your classes and start to think about some of these things and how it all comes together, it's really important that you understand how it, how it works. So um, let's look at a couple more slides. For box one, that's simply earning your diploma requirements. So you meet the diploma requirements from the state of Indiana, that checks off box one. Now how many of you know which diploma you're on? You're on a general diploma track, for 40, academic honors, technical honors. That might be something to talk to your guidance counselor about if you're not quite sure, okay? But you have to meet one of those. Box two, 
we have to demonstrate employability skills. So you have to show us that you're learning some of these skills that are going to make you successful in the workforce when you leave high school or um, as you move on to post-secondary education as well. But um, we're going to do these through three different options. Project-based experience, service-based experience, work-based experience. So we've got some options here at the high school. And I want you to understand, too, that you only have to, use, you only have to check off one of these. You don't have to do all three. You just have three options. So maybe you take one of those Project Lead the Way courses that we talked about. That counts as a project-based experience. So you would check off that top box. Um, maybe you were in band or you're in FFA or something like that. That's going to count for service-based. Any of those clubs that was, was on the slide that Mrs. Kent showed, that checks off box two. Um, Work-based learning, our third option in this category. How many of you ever plan on maybe getting a job while you're in high school. You plan on being employed at some point. That will also count. Now the thing with all these three things, while you're involved in these, you also have to demonstrate these qualities. So you want to be successful at your job. You want to be a valuable member of some of these clubs. So make sure that you're demonstrating some of these qualities. And let's look at box three. So that third box on graduation pathways. You have to demonstrate post-secondary ready competencies. So that's a mouthful, but what that means is you've got to show that when you leave Jennings County High School, when you graduate, you are ready to move on to employment or that post-secondary education. You have some sort of a skill, quality that you've learned here that makes you ready to go. So how do we do that? There's lots of options. An honors diploma. So if you're going to get an academic honors diploma, that checks off box one and box three. Because that also counts for close secondary. Um, you can take the ASVAB. That's a test that we give here through the military that looks at some of your um, aptitudes and interests. You can get an industry certification. Maybe you get a welding certificate from the Career Center at Versailles. Um, you could become a career technical education concentrator, which we'll look at in just a few minutes, but it's those career pathways that if you take three courses in that sequence, that makes you a career concentrator. Uh, you get a certain score on the SAT, uh, or take a couple of those dual credit classes, at least three dual credit or AP classes. Any one of those things. Okay, and I also want to make sure that you guys understand, and Mr. Earl hit on this, in the last presentation, but very, very important. Prior to graduation pathways, you had to pass ISTEP. That. that was your only way to get out of, you know, to earn your diploma. So this provides you lots of really amazing opportunities to show your skills that might be in other areas, aside from standardized testing. Okay, so back to how do you become a CTE concentrator? Again, we've got some new pathways, and you'll get a document with all of those. But as long as you take all three of those courses in the sequence, that will make you a concentrator. They start with the principal's courses. How many of you are in a principal's course this year? Principal's of manufacturing, principal's of business. Okay, a handful. So you've already started that pathway. So you'll want to take the next course as long as that's something that you're still interested in. And if you didn't take one of those courses this year, you could sign up for it for next year. Here's a list of principal's courses that we have, just so you can, can get an idea. And again, all of this information will be sent out a little bit later. Um, this document is what you'll get through your email that show you all of the classes that you would take in your pathway. Okay. Any questions about graduation pathways? Box one, box two, box three. Before I keep going. Okay. So as far as looking at your courses and how we're going to choose those moving forward to take your sophomore year courses, you're going to be back in the auditorium next Monday to actually choose the courses. So between now and next Monday, 
Your homework is to look at the curriculum guide and take into account all this information we're getting ready to go through and already have gone through to decide what you want to take your sophomore year. Okay? Once we have all of that information, you will sit down with your guidance counselor individually to go through it, make sure that everything makes sense and works for you. Um, and then we will start building the schedule from that point. So hopefully early on in the summer, you will know which courses you have for your sophomore year. Again, here's another link to the curriculum guide. That's where all your information is. A list of our guidance counselors. You've probably met with your guidance counselor, hopefully at least once. If not, here is a listing as well. You can find them in the guidance office. And then I'm going to turn this over to them to go over some more specific scheduling requests. Okay, so we're just going to cover some things that you need to be aware of in general, and then we're going to look at a mock schedule here in just a few minutes. So, um, in regards to our pathways courses and principal courses that you're taking, if you are in a principal course this year um, and you want to continue in that uh, career in technical education concentrator, then you will go to the next class that is listed um, on the information that you will receive this afternoon. If you want to change um, to a different principal course, you can do that. Um, but we try to encourage you to continue with what you're doing if that's something you're interested in. Um, if you haven't taken a principal course, um, you can also go ahead and choose to do that next year. So if I'm in principal of broadcasting this year and I want to continue with that, I would go to the next uh, elective that is in that area. If you're a 21st century scholar, this is something that you would have signed up for at middle school. Um, Please keep in mind that you have to have a 440 diploma, so when you go to look at some of those classes, just make sure that the classes that you're wanting to take um, fit a 440 diploma. Because you definitely don't want to miss out on any of those types of monies that you can have for college. If you are unsure if you're a 21st century scholar, you can ask anyone in the guidance office, but Mrs. Andrus is going to be kind of our go-to person for that in the guidance office. And she did meet with many of you uh, early on this semester, so. I think she called you in room 106, so that's what that meeting was about. All right, if you are a high ability student, um, usually called gifted and talented, you will need to take one advanced course each year. Um, normally we call that honors courses, but we're changing kind of our verbiage with that, so it's gonna be called advanced moving forward. So just keep that in mind as well. And then this year, everyone had to have a study hall, but keep in mind, um, if that's something that you use and you utilize, I would definitely encourage you to take a study hall, but Keep in mind that um, even if you don't have study hall, with the fact that we have SRT, you get about 35 minutes before you can work on your assignments for that time as well. Um, okay. So looking ahead for what you would be need to be prepared for for next week, um, this is something we told the group last, I guess, SRT section, but. Um, in mind that when you're going to do this, I would write it down on a post-it note, I would text it to myself, I would have something so when you come in here next week, you can have it written down and you're not coming in um, blind or anything like that. So some of the things that you'll have to have, the first is you will have to have English, um, so you'll either do English 10 or advanced English 10. If you are in honors English right now and you're being successful and you're doing well, um, then advanced is probably the route you want to go. If you are in regular English 9 right now um, and want to challenge yourself and make it more difficult, then you could choose to go to Advanced English 10 next year. If you're kind of confused as to what you should do, ask your English teacher right now and they can give you really good guidance on that as well. Next, you will take a math. Um, if for some reason you are still in the Algebra 1, Semester 1 section right now, um, we will kind of clean that up because it won't be an option for you to choose for next year. Um, so that's something we will take care of, but a lot of times students will either go to geometry, so if you're in Algebra 1 this year, you can go to geometry. If you are in geometry honors this year, um, you can either go to Algebra 2 or Advanced Algebra 2. Keep in mind if you're wanting to take more advanced math courses as you move forward, like the pre-calculus, it is highly recommended and encouraged that you the advanced algebra two before you go into treatment. Third, we're going to go into science. If you're in integrated chemistry and physics this year, next year you will shift to biology. If you are currently in biology honors this year, then you're going to be looking at either chemistry or physics one. 
Again, if you have any questions as to what class you should be taking next, ask us in the guidance office or ask the teacher in that subject area and they'll be able to tell you that. With, with the physics one, you have to be at least taking algebra two at the same time, okay? So just keep that in mind. You wouldn't want to jump to physics if geometry is your next step in that. Um, next, we'll have preparing for college and careers. This is only a one semester course, um, so you will have to take another elective in place of that. So um, for the other semester. So say, for instance, if you for some reason didn't take health this year, we can put health in there, or you just take another elective of some sort to fill that other semester spot. Next, social studies. If you're currently in geography, then you don't necessarily have to go into world history. If you didn't do geography this year, um, then we would encourage you to go into world history next year. For the 440 diploma, you either have to have a year of geography or a year of world history. You don't necessarily have to have both. Okay. Study hall, again, that would be up to you if you want to take a study hall next year or not. Um, if it is something that you utilize, you have plenty of time to take a study hall every year and still get enough credits to be able to graduate high school as long as you're passing it on. Um, if you don't take a study hall, then we can just fill it in with another elective. It could be a fine arts, um, visual arts, it could be a foreign language, or any of those other types of electives that you may be interested in. And then we do have two other spots for uh, our career pathway um, and technical education area. So again, if you're in a principal's course this year, we would encourage you to go to the next principal's course in that area. If you're not in a principal's course this year, um, you would choose to take that next year and start in that pathway, because that'll be a way that you could get a CTE concentrator for box three of what Mrs. Evie was talking about earlier. Okay, so let's kind of go over again our next steps. We've just given you a whole lot of information about graduation pathways in these three boxes, right? And you've got the curriculum guide to look at so that you can come back next week and choose what your courses are going, that, what you want to request for next year. So in between now and then, you will receive um, a link to do that interest inventory on Indiana Career Explorer. So it's going to give you some more specific options with um, where your interests lie and what kind of courses you could take based on that. So you'll complete that. Um, again, spend a fair amount of time in the curriculum guide, looking at courses, finding things that interest you, watching those videos that your teachers have put together. Um, also, just as you go through your normal schedule, ask your teachers' opinions. Um, ask them what they think. You know, your teachers know you, they've worked with you this year. Um, get, their, get their opinions on what they would suggest. You've got your guidance counselors, obviously. Um, and make sure also that you're taking this information home and sharing it with your parents. Uh, that's a big piece. Make sure that you can share what you've gotten through your email. You'll get this presentation and a lot of the other links. So ask for their input as well. So again, next Monday is when you're going to put these requests into Google Form. You'll have to bring your uh, devices back with you. You didn't have to bring them today, but you've got to bring them with you next Monday. You're going to put everything into a Google form. And like Ms. Cardinal said, write it down on a post-it piece of paper, something, um, so that, that you've got an idea of what you're going to put in for us. Another option, too, I want you guys to share this with your parents, and we're going to share it as well. Um, if they have questions for us, obviously they can reach out through email, but we are going to be in the guidance office on Thursday, January 27th for a couple of hours. Um, that anybody can just stop by and ask those questions if that's something that they want to do in person. Okay? So, do you guys have any questions? We've got just a few more minutes before the end of your SRT period. Does anybody have any specific questions on what was presented or what we're doing moving forward? Because there's no way we were that good. Uh, maybe we work. Yes, we have to take a look. Anything at all? Okay. So, what's your job between now and next Monday? What? What's your homework? Guys. Yeah, you can't throw it away. It's a it's a link. It's not even printed. You're 
You're going to look at it at least. You're going to look at the classes. You're going to write it down on a piece of paper. You're going to talk to the teachers. Watch some of the videos in the curriculum guide. Okay, talk to your parents. So we've got, we've got about three minutes until the bell rings, okay? So just stay seated. Guys, real quickly, I don't know that some of you understand the importance of all this stuff. Just over three years from now, Saturday, probably in June, we want every one of you to be sitting in here in a long blue gown with a funny blue hat on getting ready to graduate. We, this section will be filled up with kids that have met all the graduation requirements. So I'm not sure you're all taking this as seriously as you need to because this is the next, this is planning for the next three years for you with these pathways. We want to get you ready for what's after high school, and we want to see every one of you in here getting ready to walk across the state and get your diploma. So come ready to go next week when we do the scheduling so we can put in the best possible classes for you to get you ready for what you want to do. Okay? Please be prepared next week. We don't want you to get to the end of your junior year or senior year and not have that. I wish I would have you know, paid closer attention or... Listen, so.